cropping. It is the practice of growing of two or more crops simultaneously in the same piece of land. The basic objective in mixed cropping is to minimize the risk and ensure against the crop failure due to abnormal weather conditions. The small and marginal farmers, particularly in the rain-fed regions, cannot take the risk of growing specialized crops. They prefer a farming system called mixed cropping, which is the practice of growing of two or more crops simultaneously in the same piece of land. It is an age-old practice in our country. Advantages of mixed cropping The risk of total crop failure due to uncertain monsoon is reduced. Farmers tend to harvest a variety of produce such as cereal, pulses or vegetables or fodder to meet the various requirements of family or of an agricultural farm. Due to complementary effect of component crops, yield of both crops is increased, for example, wheat and gram. Fertility of the soil is improved by growing two crops simultaneously. Chances of pest infestation are greatly reduced. Intercropping it is a practice of growing two or more crops simultaneously in a same field in definite row patterns with the objective of increasing productivity per unit area. Intercropping is an improved version of mixed cropping. All the crop combinations in mixed cropping can also be practiced in intercropping, but row patterns are definite. That is, one is to one. 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3. It means after one row of main crop, one, two or three rows of intercrops can be grown. Advantages of intercropping It makes better use of the natural resources of sunlight, land and water. Soil erosion is effectively arrested. Since the seeds of the two crops are not mixed, before sowing, fertilizers can be added as per the need of the crops. Since the seed maturity period of these crops vary, the different crops can be harvested and threshed separately. The produce of each crop can be marketed and consumed separately.